lot of the spots to see the Golden Gate Bridge are super touristy, totally overrun with crowds, and your photos are just gonna look like everybody else's. So today I'm gonna share with you five unique views of the Golden Gate Bridge where you can get a great photo and be a little bit off the beaten path. Not like this spot here, which is the Golden Gate Bridge parking lot. We're gonna avoid the tourist buses, avoid the crowds, avoid the selfie sticks, and get you some unique views of the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm Kelly from Asida Suite. I've lived in San Francisco for the last seven years. I've spent that entire time calming the city for the best things to do. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see more fun things to do in San Francisco, you can find me on Instagram at Asida Suite. Let's get into it. At our first stop for our Golden Gate Bridge tour. This is not Marshall's Beach, but after we hike for like 20 minutes, we'll be there. Um, so the best stop is at the Overlook parking lot. That'll give you parking for the first three spots on our tour. So we're gonna hike on down. Make sure you bring good shoes because this is a pretty intense hike. Um, you're probably gonna get a little sweaty. Uh, so make sure you're prepared and bring some water and good shoes. Um, all right, let's get going. On this Golden Gate Bridge tour, we are back at the Golden Gate Bridge Overlook parking lot, which is our jumping off point for the first three spots. And now we are headed to the actual Golden Gate Bridge Overlook. So this one is a little bit more touristy, but still I would consider it to be off the beaten path. And it offers some great kind of head on views of the Golden Gate Bridge. I think we lucked out today because there are hardly any people here, even though it's super nice. parking lot, the Golden Gate Overlook parking lot for our third stop on the Golden Gate Bridge tour. This one is a little bit harder to find. It's got a little bit of a hike kind of over some old batteries that are left here from the military, um, but it offers these sweeping expansive views of the Marin headlands and the bridge from kind of a side profile. To find it, you want to put in your phone battery god free. This is worth the little hike, and if you can find this spot, it's almost always totally empty, so I highly, highly recommend putting this one at the top of your list. side and it is just every time like a manager. Can you even believe it? 
We are still on the opposite side of San Francisco right now, across the road from where we just were at Battery Spencer. This is Fort Baker. I love ending the night with Fort Baker. It has these expansive views of both bridges. So not only the Golden Gate Bridge, but also the Bay Bridge. And you can see the entire city skyline. It's a great place to be as the sun goes down because the city starts to light up. In a few minutes, the Golden Gate Bridge will start to light up. And it just offers this like totally surreal, dreamy and peaceful look at the Golden Gate Bridge from below. And the greatest thing about it is you might not even see another tourist while you're here. This is totally off the beaten path. This is a hidden gem and it is not to be missed. for coming along on this Golden Gate Bridge adventure with me. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if that's something you're into. If you want to see more San Francisco photos and things to do in the city, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Aside of Sweet. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.